E3D doesn't just make hot ends and their accessories, they also make components just as important, extruders. Over the years, E3D has made multiple variations to their extruder lineup, each tackling a specific need, whether it was a short feed path or liquid cooling options. By now, the latest E3D Hamera has all the bells and whistles you would come to expect from E3D, making it a formidable replacement for your 3D printer setup. Let's jump into it. E3D has developed multiple extruders, each of which can be used in a direct drive configuration where the extruder is mounted to the print head, or a Bowden configuration where the extruder is mounted to the frame and connected to the print head using a PTFE tube. Usually there will be some level of swapping parts around to convert the extruder from one configuration to the other. The original Titan Universal Extruder can be used in direct drive or Bowden simply by inserting an E3D groove mount heatsink directly into the extruder body, or by inserting a groove mount Bowden adapter. For those interested in a variant that makes a shorter direct drive extruder, the Titan Air replaces the Titan's cover with a heat sink cover combo that is air cooled and can be threaded with standard E3D V6 heat breaks. The latest and greatest E3D Hamera is equally capable of being used in direct drive or Bowden configurations, simply by installing the bow adapter for Bowden or the Hamera heat break for direct drive. Depending on the use case of an individual printer, how the extruder keeps cool may or may not be an important consideration. E3D's first extruder, the Titan Universal Extruder, doesn't use any cooling at all. It is simply a gearbox that you can connect to your hot end, which will have its own cooling setup. For the more extreme scenarios, the Titan Aqua features an internal cavity and couplings that allow it to circulate a coolant from the heat sink to a pump and radiator outside an enclosure, ensuring that the heat sink stays cool enough despite being in the hot chamber. In any case, the Hamera is air-cooled but features some pathing that the Titan Aero did not consider. The unique heatsink was designed to channel air away from the 3D print, preventing it from warping delicate materials away from the bed. Each of the E3D extruders are compatible with a variety of E3D components. In the case of the Hamera, anything below the heat break can be swapped around to your heart's content, be it a plated copper volcano heater block or a nozzle X. For the Titan Aero, the heat break and everything below it can be interchanged, including a swap for the Titanium V6 heat break for supreme temperature control. As the Titan Universal Extruder uses a groove mount, as long as you have a groove mount adapter on your hot end, E3D and otherwise, you can install it without issue. Unlike other basic extruders, every E3D extruder features an easily accessible tensioner. In the case of the Titan, Titan Aero, and Titan Aqua, a handy thumb screw can be tightened or loosened to adjust the idler bearing's tension on the filament. For a more low profile use, you can swap the thumb screw for a large button head screw. Depending on whether you are working with a standard E3D extruder or one of the mirrored versions, the tension adjuster will be on the left or right, respectively. The E3D Hamera is a little bit different in that the tensioner is located right on top, so no matter how it's mounted, you will always have access to it. It's not essential, but it might be helpful for you to know that with all of the Titan extruders, if you turn the thumb screw counterclockwise, you increase tension and clockwise will decrease tension, whereas the Hamera does the opposite, where turning it clockwise will increase tension and turning it counterclockwise will decrease tension. In order to extrude filament reliably and with repeatability, modern extruders utilize a dual drive extruder gear setup, where both the idler and the guide gear have teeth to grip the filament and push it from both sides. The E3D Hamera features these dual drive gears, but every previous E3D extruder utilizes smooth bearings as their idler. For you, all this means is that the tightly constrained filament path of the Hamera can print flexible filaments almost as fast as rigid materials whereas the older Titan extruders will need to be a little more delicate with flexibles and print at slower speeds. The Titan extruders are all designed in such a way that you can attach whatever motor fits its faceplate, which is a standard NEMA 17 profile motor. You can use a pancake or slimline motor for a direct drive configuration to really bring down the weight of the carriage, or you can get a huge and powerful motor and strap it down as a Bowden extruder, ensuring that any printing complications you encounter aren't from a lack of extruder torque. Conversely, the E3D Hamera uses a unique NEMA 17 motor specifically to keep all of its components in a smaller footprint. Square nut insert channels are included for easy mounting, or the gears are embedded in the face of the motor. While this does mean you have to use the included motor in order to use the Hamera at all, it also means that E3 has done the testing to ensure that the motor is of their quality caliber for a more reliable extruder overall. Of the E3D Titan lineup, every single one is compatible with both 2.85mm filament and 1.75mm filament. The original Titan includes two small injection molded pieces that constrain the filament path after the extruder gears, one for each filament diameter. Simply by swapping these parts around, you can change diameters. 
With the Titan Aero and Aqua, the heat sink necessitates moving some parts around, and that means these heat sinks are built for only one filament diameter, as the bottoms are threaded for either a V6 heat break designed for a 2.85 millimeter filament, or 1.75 millimeter filament, as they have different threadings. The base Titan extruder is unaffected, so as long as you swap the entire heat sink, you retain the ability to change diameters. With the E3D Hamer, however, there's only a 1.75 millimeter version, and 2.85 millimeter is unsupported in any way. Mounting these extruders is fairly simple, with a little forethought. The E3D Titan and Titan Arrow use a mounting plate sandwiched between the motor body and the extruder housing in order to keep everything locked together and well supported. With the Titan Aqua's unique heatsink setup that requires the heatsink to clamp against the motor, the motor mount is left out in favor of mounting holes directly attached to the heatsink. Even simpler, the E3D Hamera uses small channels cut into the sides of the motor housing to allow for M3 square nuts to be inserted and used to mount the extruder or any additional accessories with ease. E3D has several extruders, each built with a specific purpose in mind while still being excellent all around 3D printer extruders. Hopefully, you have a much better understanding of the differences between each E3D extruder and have the information that you need to choose the right one for you. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the Matter Hackers YouTube channel and find us at Matter Hackers on all your favorite social media platforms. To learn more and to order your own E3D extruder today, go to matterhackers.com. <laughs>